Hello dreamers! Welcome back to my channel, A Dream in Japan. If this is your first time joining us, hello! My name is Adria and this is my husband, my Japanese husband. And for the purposes of this channel, I'll be referring to him as Colonel Munch. Not that type of colonel, I know what you're thinking. This type of colonel. So he started a blog um, about minimalism and saving money and he is the colonel. I'll be referring to him as Colonel Munch. Not to get confused with our pet Axolotl who is also named Munch. Stop it. You got it. Today is a very special day. Why is it a special day, Colonel Munch? I don't know. You don't know? Yes. What What do you think it is? I don't know. There's three reasons this is a special video. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I'll give you a hint. Number one, it's something on this Saturday. Your birthday. That's right! My birthday is on Saturday, and we're going to talk more about that, but actually, this video is special because of what YouTube gave me for my birthday. You guys helped me reach 200 subscribers! Yay! So thank you so much for subscribing to our channel and watching our story. Don't forget to hit the like on this video. There are three reasons that this video is special besides how special you subscribers are. Today, we are going to name this guy. I can never do it. Him. We're going to name him. Isn't he good? <laughs> yeah, so he came along really nicely. He's super big. He kind of... His old grandpa hair went away, and I'm really sad. No more grandpa hair in the back. So I'm going to probably give him a haircut mm. before the next <clears throat> video. He unfortunately still kind of has a bald patch, but it's not as bad as it used to be. We had six contenders for his name, so thank you for everybody who weighed in on what his name should be. Our choices are Munch Jr., <laughs> Simon, Jazzy Joey, Rufus, Wallace, or Harry. So I want you to think of what you want his name to be, and I'll choose one, and then we'll say it at the same time, on the count of three. Say no, son. Hi, Simon. Munch Jr. <laughs> Munch Jr. <laughs> so I want Simon, you want Munch Jr. So... We're going to decide mm. in the most Japanese way possible, which is mm. how do you decide things in Japan? John Ken. John Ken. For all of you viewers mm. that don't know, John Ken is really just rock, paper, scissors. In America, we would usually say something like rock, paper, scissors, shoot, or mm. go. And we would choose our sign. But mm. in Japan, we say sai, mm. show, gu. Mm. John Ken mm. and on the pom mm. we choose our mm. thing. If we have the mm. same mm. thing, then we say mm. I ko the show. And now we have something different. Mm. Okay, that was just practice. So we're gonna try. Alright. Mm. Are ready? Sai show gu. John Ken pom. I ko the show. Ah <laughs> He has the paper. So hold on. We have Munch Jr. Punch, 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 punch. I live with so many munches. I promise that the video content is gonna get more interesting from here on out because I'm actually going to start planning things starting with my birthday weekend. Just a fun fact about Saturday, March 20th, which is my birthday. Do you know what holiday my birthday is in Japan? Huh. Yeah, spring. Huh, huh. So what is it in Japanese? Shunbun no hi. 
Shumbun Nahi, which means the vernal equinox day or spring equinox day. And I did a little Googling. Apparently, it's not always on March 20th, but since I've been in Japan for four years, it's been on my birthday every year. And usually, it is a bank or national holiday. And for the last three years, it has always fallen on a weekday, which meant we got a day off of work. Yay! Yeah. But this year sucks mm. because my birthday is on a Saturday, so he doesn't get any mm. special holiday. We get to at least spend my birthday mm. together. Fun fact also about the spring equinox, it used to be a Shinto holiday called, I'm gonna get this wrong, so Shunki Koreisai. Have you heard of it? No. So before <clears throat> World War II, it was a Shinto holiday, but then they changed it when Japan separated Shinto or religion from the state and they changed it to Vernal Equinox Day, which is good because that means my birthday is always the first day of spring. So I'm hoping we get to see some cherry blossoms when we go out for my birthday, but maybe not. Maybe a little early for cherry blossoms. A little early. All right. So thank you so much for joining us this week. Before we leave you this week, we just wanted to give you an update on the channel schedule. So I've officially decided that we, meaning uh, Munch Jr. and Colonel Munch and I, we're going to be releasing a new video every Friday, which will really mean Friday night in Japan, but very, very early Friday morning in America. So that means that every weekend you should have a new A Dream in Japan video to enjoy. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you get notifications when we post a new video. Munch Jr. and I have also been thinking that maybe we need to do something to reward new subscribers. So when we reach every 100 milestone subscribers, we're going to do something special. And when we reach 500 subscribers, we're going to do our first real live stream. So if you have any ideas what we should do at each of our 100 milestone markers, please leave a idea in the comments and we'll choose the best ones for each of our next 300 and 400 milestones. See you next week, dreamers. Keep dreaming, dreamers. Yeah, I don't know. Keep, dream Keep dreaming, dreamers. <laughs> I'll just stop it there. <laughs>